have another dedicated shopper drop today and I decided to do it on this because I've had so many of you guys send this to me in my DMs on Instagram. So I was like, all right, there's enough interest. Y'all want me to talk about the new Charlotte Tilbury beautifying face palette and some other items from the holiday collection. So let's get into it. So I'm getting this information from Trend Mood One. They have the photos posted over here and this is what we have to work with. I don't have much information other than the names. I'm assuming these are part of the holiday collection and very interesting launch here. I'm excited about half of this. We'll talk about the other half of this, but I've already talked about these face palettes over at the top. These are the beautifying face palettes. I didn't know they were going to be part of a holiday launch, but I think these are part of a holiday launch given the packaging of the lower half of this photo right here. Now there could be more coming out in the holiday collection. This is just all we happen to have so far. Honestly, I really do hope we get more. I hope we at least get some quads or a big 12 pan palette is what I'm waiting on, but I've heard through the grapevine that they're not doing that. I have no clue though. Only time will tell, but as of this moment so far, this is what we have for the Charlotte Tilbury holiday launch. And you guys know I love Charlotte Tilbury. You guys know I'm picking up the beautifying face palettes. I've talked about this in a shopper drop a couple of months ago when these were first leaked, but these are definitely the best images that we have. So I've bought her face palettes in the past over the last couple of years. So I pulled these out to kind of look, compare them picture by picture. I'm going to assume these are going to be about $75. That's how much this last palette was, $75. Five bucks but all of the brands are increasing their prices so don't be surprised if it goes up to $80 I hope not so here's my major concern initially when looking at these face quads right you would think they would do one for lighter complexions one for deeper complexion Charlotte Tilbury has done that in the past and I would say the warmer one right over here is gonna best work for those with the deeper complexion and this one for lighter complexions but how I'm more so seeing it as in each of the palettes, the top seems to be more so for lighter complexions and the bottom one seems to be more so for deeper complexions. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because when a brand comes out with one palette, you know, you want it to be all inclusive for it to work for everybody. But at the same time, that's kind of a waste. I think it just makes more sense to have one palette clearly for one type of complexion and then probably three palettes would be the best. But two, whatever. I just would like more of a clear difference here. I think overall the colors here look beautiful. I love that there's a pink. I love that there's a warmer peachy option. I will be shopping these by the way. I am so excited for these. I love these face palettes typically. But yeah, I'm just trying to work out just based on what I can visually see. If there's range in here for which skin tones that this can work for, it's just odd to me that these don't very clearly look like they are for different skin tones, but more so that each palette just has a lighter colors option on the top and a deeper color option on the bottom. Now, of course, I don't have these to swatch. That kind of gives it all away, you know? These bottom rows over here could very likely not carry that much pigment. So we will see. I'm going to pick up both to review for you guys and answer that for you. But in terms of range aside, I think these palettes look gorgeous. I'm kind of disappointed that they are just a blush and highlight palette that kind of gets rid of the versatility that we had, you know, in last year's palette, the Nude Gasm, where there was, you know, bronzers, blush, and highlight to kind of create that full look. Even the Light Gasm, and I know there's like a deeper one as well, it had that all-encompassing element to it, whereas this is just blush and highlight. That being said, I love blush and highlight, so I'm still excited for it, but I think we would have gotten more value from this palette if we also didn't have to pack a bronzer if we were traveling with this, or if it was an all-in-one palette, especially since she came out with that new cream bronzer this year. She came out with the powder bronzer last year. Like, we know she has bronzers. This would have been a great opportunity to really hone in on a lovely kind of glowy bronzer formula because while I do love these palettes, I would say easily the weakest formula in these are going to be the bronzers. I feel like she hasn't nailed a glowy powder bronzer and I feel like this would have been a good opportunity to kind of work on nailing that down. 
But like I said, I like the blush options and I like the cheek options. I like that I can build with a lighter blush color and then kind of towards the back of the cheek have a deeper blush color. I like that we can probably use these highlights down here if you have a lighter skin tone as a blush topper potentially as eyeshadow. These are really, really great. A little disappointed that there's no bronzer, of course, but that doesn't take away from how beautiful both of these palettes are. So I want to hear your thoughts on these palettes. What are you thinking? What do you think in terms of skin tone range? I don't have a deeper complexion. And if you do, do you think that these are going to work for you? I think especially this one has potential, assuming that this blush and this highlight have a lot of pigment. I don't know. I, I can't speak on that, but I will say from prior experience with these quads, they typically are a little bit more sheer, especially with Charlotte Tilbury's line in general. It's about that sheer glowy effect. So I don't know. I don't know about that, but I think these highlighters look beautiful. They're going to be stunning. I know they are. And I wonder if these blushes are her same formula that she has in her cheek to cheeks. I don't know. I, I think what color I like the most, of course, is the pink. This is the one I'm gonna reach for the most, but I kind of am attracted to the warmer one a little bit more because I love this color right here. I love this color for some reason. It's been a trend for me, but I plan on getting both and I'm really, really excited for them. They look stunning. I really enjoy these palettes. Now, you can see we have some swatches or I guess still shots of some other items, but here's a closer look at the quads, but I will be shopping those. I'm excited for them nonetheless. They are really an exciting launch. So expect a review on those. Now let's talk about what I've never talked about on my channel before because this was just recently leaked. These are going to be the hypnotizing pop shots. And I would definitely say these are part of the holiday collection because we have this packaging right here, which is normally what she does for the holidays. I love the little jewel elements that she added to it. I don't like the idea of this though. I think these are going to be I don't know if they're going to be a drop. If I didn't have a YouTube channel, yes, they would be a drop. But it depends on one interest from you guys. So let me know if you want me to review these and two, the price point. Because if these are like $40, which I wouldn't be surprised if Charlotte Tilbury did, I'm not picking these up. <laughs> Sorry. But if they are under $30, Maybe, but maybe not still. So I'm on the fence with these. I want you guys to talk me through. Tell me if you want me to review these. But if you don't know my history with these formulas, so this is going to be her pop formula. Now, she has a pop formula that I love that has been featured in recent palettes. And then all of the ones prior to that, I really don't like. They get hard pan. They don't really show up on the lid as I would like. I feel like I can get a similar effect with more affordable items. Never really attracted to these, except in the most recent years, she's really improved this formula. So I want to know if it's a new formula, if it's the formula that I like, or if it's the formula that I do not like. So my curiosity is piqued. The colors look like colors we already have from Charlotte Tilbury. Absolutely nothing new and exciting here. Like, look at this. Gold shade, a champagne shade, which is really pretty. And well, this is more the champagne shade. And then this is more of like a cooler color. They're pretty, but she normally launches her pop shades in the holidays in a quad. And so instead of that, she's doing individuals, which I don't think is going to go over well. I'd be more attracted if it was a quad. I know it's going to be much more expensive now that it's an individual in one pot. I don't know if this was the best move, personally. The fact that they are individuals, I am less interested in this because I am less likely to reach for my individual items, especially with the track record with these pop shades. If I did not review makeup, this would definitely be a drop. But curiosity might kill the cat on these in terms of reviewing for you guys because I just, I need to know. I have a lot of questions and I do like the packaging, but I do find this to be quite unnecessary. I really do. I don't think this was the best idea. I would rather have had her come out with a palette. And also, where are the palettes? No eye quads, no 12 pan palettes. I'm rather disappointed, I'm not gonna lie. I love the 12 pans that she's come out with every single year. I wonder if she's not coming out with a 12 pan because she normally has them left over. She seems to always make too many in the last recent years because when they first came out, her 12 panners 
went off crazy. They definitely sold out really quickly and then they've kind of stopped doing that over the last few years. I don't know, maybe she should have done a 12 pin in a different format and another palette might very well come out. These are all just speculation and leaks. We don't know what we have more of, but I really wanted to talk about one, how beautiful these palettes were and two, how I don't know if these individual pop shades were a really good idea. I'm not that pleased with them if I'm being honest, but hopefully they're a great formula. That's the only thing that will change my mind on this. If one, they aren't absolutely a ridiculous price, which they absolutely will be knowing Charlotte Tilbury. And two, if these are a spectacular formula and for these to stand out as individuals for us to pay an inflated price most likely, it better be amazing. So we'll see. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you plan on picking these items up and which colors do you want? The pink palette, the orange palette. Do you want any of the individuals? These two look like they might be similar. I don't see a point to buying these two, but we've had these colors in pop shades from Charlotte Tilbury before. There's no doubt about it. Anyways, I will be buying the palettes. May or may not be buying the individuals, maybe like one for experimental purposes, like one. Plus I like that packaging and I hope the packaging of these individuals are also the packaging of the palettes. I don't think they are. I think I've seen the packaging before. Anyways, um, yeah, so that's all I have for today's Shopper Drop. I'm gonna close this off. <laughs> we don't have much more information on that, but I just wanted to talk about it because Shirley Tilbury is one of the holiday launches that I've been looking forward to most. So I wanted to share what I thought so far. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it interesting. The point of these really is just to get a conversation going about these and also asking questions that you might have for me to cover in my review when I pick these items up. But overall, they do look stunning. So anyways, <laughs> make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel because I will have reviews coming up from this collection and many, many more. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.